to me, being black on SAS and being black abroad is way more than just an opportunity. This is a dream um, that my parents had to travel the world. This is a dream that my ancestors had. Um, this is so much more than just studying abroad to me. This is an experience of a lifetime. Who are you? I'm Chandler. No, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Really? Go, yeah. of a hike right yeah so you have all this muddy shit but then sometimes you get to this shit while on the program community for me men that community for me community people that i call my family part of my community And don't get me wrong, I found community even in people who were not black like me, but for the better part, I related most with those who looked like me, who were black like me, who faced the challenges that I faced. Semester at Sea for me was a once in a lifetime opportunity because even before embarking on the voyage, I mean, understanding the fact that it was so unconventional. I mean, when you look at the demographics, very few people of color even get the opportunity to embark on a voyage such as Semester at Sea. So that's what made it something very special to me. But the voyage itself and the experience that I had on the voyage was amplified and enriched simply because of my community. I know that those individuals made that housing a home for me. I belonged, I sat, I ate, I simply existed with my community. And in times of both pure bliss and in times of distress, I had that family that supported me. And in a situation where everything around you is foreign, everything around you is constantly in motion, you're literally in motion physically 24-7, it was nice to have something familiar. It was nice to have something constant. Girl! Uh-uh! Welcome to 81 11. Welcome to 811. Period. Oh, this room has so many memories. So, that's Aaliyah's bed. This is my bed. We usually have our The imaginary here. wall of clown shit. The imaginary wall of clown shit. Oh, this is sad as hell. So how do you feel about the voyage being cut short? Girl, it's just, it's too much. Like, this is like our home. Like, girl, so many memories in this room. 8111. Right. It's, it's too much. I think I'm gonna, out of everything on this voyage, I'm gonna miss this room. Hold on and think about a memory here. You always have this moment and you can take it anywhere that you wanna go. And so to that regard, I'd be remiss if I didn't actually give a shout out to you know my community, my family, my tribe, the Black and Sea staff. It was been a critical 
component to the resistance, persistence, and black life making for me and, every, and each one of us as we go. Again, be proud of what happened here. Take it with you. I, I cannot wait. Like I'm already thinking about like five years from now when I'm hearing and seeing about the incredible things you all are doing. You know, just shout me out. That's all I ask. <laughs> I'm tired every now and then. Angela. <laughs> I am so grateful for the community. Some of that community for me started pre-voyage when the Student Life team trained in Colorado back in September. Uh, because of that experience and maintaining those relationships, I came into the voyage feeling really blessed that I had people I felt already connected to. And then on the voyage for me, community meant space for connection, vulnerability, and advocacy. It's Barnabas approaching me week one, sis, why don't we have a BSU and how do I make that happen? And also his great work for the shipboard community serving as a student life student assistant. It's day facilitating our evening workouts and advising video club. It's our Black Queen movement and also seeing T and Bliss shine as professionals in their above and beyond support to all students. It was lunchtime gatherings, visibility and excellence, and the list goes on. All of it was community. I did not expect to meet people that I would love so intensely and feel that there are the family outside of actually blood family could exist. I didn't think that was a thing for me until I met them and having no phones or internet or outside communications, they were always there and the ship was small as hell. So they were always in, within reach and I just love the fact that I could go bust up in room 8111 and just sit and just exist with people that I truly liked and be down the hall from someone I could talk to and cry with and laugh with and joke with and it just meant more than just traveling the world on a ship it was I had a family where do I begin this voyage was is well actually was called the voyage of discovery and yet as much as i thought i understood what that meant after going through all this i never understood what it how it would truly impact me until after you know it ended abruptly but this voyage meant much more than just having the privilege to be here you know I decided to go on this voyage because growing up in a low-income community I never had the opportunity to travel being having the opportunity to just travel the world it was something that I dreamt up my whole life, as well as my mom being diagnosed with cancer and her whole dream was to travel the world. She never got the opportunity to travel the world as a young adult and now that, you know, she is sick and can't physically travel any longer. I decided to do this voyage to be her eyes. So even though I'm making this video, it's so hard for me to put into words what these friendships meant to me. There's something about the ocean that just made friendship, community, companionship, our time together just so much easier and I'm so grateful for it and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, we're going to Asia, and you already know how we wager. 
We gonna play ya. <laughs> Just play ya. Come catch up. Hey, hey, get it. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 